The people that I've lost have been young, um, all less than 40 years old, with so much more to give. So that is what, is what drives me. Um, it makes it important for me to, to make sure people are aware. It's one of the few diseases when once mentioned, instead of people automatically going to, what can I do to help? The thought still is, what did you do to get it? It's a disease that is so, it brings up so many issues. It hits on things like relationships and love and you know, societies and racism. And it just brings up so many issues. Just within the last three months, I've seen two close friends contract HIV. And throughout the years, I've lost a lot of friends, Victor and Peter and Peter and Tony, on and on, the list is long. If we had had a vaccine, we could have prevented a lot of pain. When I first uh, entered medical school, HIV was, was just being discovered. And to see all of these HIV-infected young men, like myself, who were dying uh, left and right around me with no ability to provide them any therapy or hope for a cure was devastating. It's uh, become more and more apparent to me that our only hope against uh, combating the HIV epidemic, the HIV pandemic, is with an HIV vaccine. Of course, there will be a lot to do in order to provide this vaccine to everyone who really needs it. Finding volunteers who are willing to participate in trials is really a, a godsend for, uh, for, for researchers because that's the only way we can make progress. It's just a huge um, benefit to us as researchers and in understanding this extremely complex infection. You can't function as a researcher without community involvement and without their desire to actually feel that this is important. A lot of people feel sort of powerless to do anything about the HIV epidemic, which is actually, as most people know, is the number one infectious cause of death in the world. HIV vaccine research rests on the shoulders of the participants, whether that's to be in a vaccine trial or to talk to their communities about vaccine research, to learn about vaccine research. Without that input, we can't do anything. I've always had a kind of a passion about HIV work, especially in the black community. The rates of infection in our community have not been going down. We still have an unusual high amounts of HIV disproportionate to the amount of the population we represent. If a vaccine could be found, it would be probably one of the greatest achievements of the last couple generations. Community is key. Community is the foundation. I believe every single human being has a contribution they can make. You know, there are numerous ways that the public can be involved. The people who are hardest hit, who are the most affected by the epidemic, are the people that we really need to be reaching out to. I've always felt I needed to serve the public. I needed to be part of, of helping the world become a better place. And that's why I'm part of HVTN. I want to help, I want to contribute to find a way to provide better lives for people who are living with HIV. A safe and an efficacious vaccine for HIV will be an amazing tool. By sharing my story, I feel that I have the opportunity to be a role model for those that can listen. I have a genuine passion for what I do because I'm living with HIV and my passion comes within the work that I do because I do not want anybody else to live with this disease. I'm excited to be part of the effort to get rid of HIV in my lifetime or my son's lifetime. The world without HIV would be a pretty happy place. So a world without HIV is a world that is a much more peaceful world. A world without HIV is a world of much greater opportunity, a world where there will be perhaps a greater sense of harmony, oneness, and togetherness amongst all people. And that's a world that I'm convinced is worth putting all of our efforts into to achieve. It's a disease that's everywhere. And 
It has to be stopped. There's lots to do. There's lots to do.